Hey guys, it's me again, and it's another Wednesday, and you know what that means? Well, you get more of me. Wow, totally screwed that up. I hope that everybody is having a wonderful, fantastic, glorious, fabulous, safe day. And, well, seems we've kind of gotten on a trend of uh, <laughs> this week of doing reviews. So, you know, doing the tech review stuff. Um, honestly... I couldn't really, I, I don't really have any kind of tech knowledge or anything like that. And I really don't have anything to compare with anything else. So, well, I'm going on a different tangent. Still going to be a review thing. Um, games. Games. Yeah. You know, I'm the big game nerd, so what the frick. So we're going to, I, I went through some of my old games. <laughs> old games that I've had forever that I've picked up at Goodwill and various, um, you know, thrift stores. My first one <laughs> I completely forgot about is, oh, it's in the package. Still in the package. Well, not in the package, but there's a sticker covering it. You don't know, Jack. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, the first, uh, first you don't know, Jack on um, PC I've had this forever. I can't remember when I got it, but yeah. And now the thing won't go back in the damn uh, jewel case. Got this at, yeah, Goodwill. And paid two freaking bucks for it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a fun little game. I mean, it. we have the party packs now. So, yeah, this is like, an old, old game. This came out in, like, God, uh, way, way back. I can't even find the date on it, on this thing. Yeah, way back. Oh, 1995. Jeez. Ugh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Don't hate me. Uh, next one is... Because I'm into theme parks and, and that sort of thing. So I got T-H-R-I-V-I-L-L-E Thrillville. Thrillville for the PS2. Another Goodwill find. Uh, it says $9.99 on it, but I think I paid maybe 5 because I talked it down. And, you know, you build theme parks, uh, you build a theme park, and you do little mini side quests, little mini games, that sort of thing. It's a lot of fun. It, it, it didn't take me very long to beat, but it was, you know, it was a thing. And then we got the sequel... Thrillville Off the Rails, another PS2 title, and yeah, it's just the same thing, only polished graphics, if you want to call it polished, you want to call it polished graphics, this came out way back to, case isn't in here, it's in, it's in one of my game, like big game folders, but yeah, Thrillville, uh, two, uh, and one of my all-time favorite games for the PS3 is... Saints Row 4. Saints Row 4. <laughs> this was a lot of fun, too. I mean, it, it's like the GTA, uh, kind of GTA on, <laughs> on acid, I guess. But, yeah, this this one, it's, it's kind of a parody. I guess you could call it a parody on, um, on, uh, Sorry, I was checking my time. A uh, parody on GTA, and it's a lot of fun. I, I, it's a lot of fun. I'm saying it's a lot of fun for all of these because I, I have you know tons of hours on these games and Guitar Hero Live. <laughs> uh, when Harmonix first came out with Guitar Hero, I was really really hooked. But after about the second or third game, I kind of burned out. This one came out good. Not too long ago, I want to say. Um, but this was one of the later ones because they had they used live footage for instead of you know the CGI and and you know stuff like that. But I still have the guitar for this somewhere. So yeah, but it you know you can do it live. You can do uh, guitar battles and that sort of thing. And let's see. And finally, Fallout New Vegas. Perhaps one of the best Fallout titles out there. 
Um, considering you know who made it, the same people who made um, the Outer Worlds. Yeah, it has this. It this was the best title, in my opinion. In my opinion, this was the best title. Um, just had a lot of fun just going amongst the wasteland and blowing stuff away. <laughs> so yeah, these are a few of my older titles. Um, and this was just what was handy. <laughs> all my all my games are in folders. I mean, the folder itself that I have is about yay thick. So yeah, that tells you a little something about my my little gaming addiction. Oh, and one more thing that I got this week. I uh, ordered new masks through um, Redbubble. A friend of mine designed some masks based off of his uh, original characters, his OC, and I decided to, you know, help help a fellow artist furry out. Um, these are his OCs. Uh, the artist is Cresplane, uh, but the OC is Max DeGroote. He makes the Beach Bears, which are audio stories I have voiced for him, and I decided that I would pick up some masks. So, first one <laughs> is the Stargazer mask, as you can see. It's a bear mask. <laughs> Little cartoon bear! Hi, how you doing? Uh, <laughs> so we got the Stargazer mask, and then we got the, the Dipper mask. It's a little yellow bear. So, we got Dipper here. So you check it out. There we go. See? <laughs> I know, they're goofy, and I love them, and I'm slowly turning into a cartoon bear. And this is Birch. This this one fits me the best. I mean, it, it looks good on me, I mean, as I love them all. But, if, yeah, and they're really easy. And the material is uh, machine wash, but I usually just um, hand wash mine. I just got these. So, if y'all are interested, I'm going to drop the red bubble link down below. And maybe if you want to check them out and get some of your own, you know, you know, help an artist out and show some love. And, you know, <laughs> I really love this mask. It's, it's, and it's breathable. You can breathe pretty easily through it. Um, I, I wore this out yesterday and folks were commenting on it and complimenting on it and getting getting some smiles and and you need a lot of smiles for what's going on right now so yeah uh, that's gonna be it for me uh, if you enjoyed the episode like what you saw have any comments suggestions what have you you be sure to let me know and be sure to check the other boys out on the den so until next time this is Ed y'all be good stay safe and I will be seeing you bye guys <laughs>